beginning our practice in child's pose. So bring your feet together to touch, spread your knees about mat's distance apart and reach your arms out in front of you, resting on your forehead, starting to breathe deeply. Extend your fingertips as far forward as you can, coming high onto the tips of all 10 fingers. Try to pull your chest down through your shoulders, opening up through your upper back and through your chest. Exhale, melt the palms back down and come up to all fours. Start to move through rounds of cat and through cow, stacking shoulders over wrist and hips over knees, toes are untucked. As you inhale, reach your heart forward. As you exhale, draw your belly in. Inhale to stretch the front side body. Exhale to open up the back side body. Return to a neutral spine. Turn your fingertips back to face towards your knees and start to take some gentle rocking motions to stretch out your wrist. And then flip your hands over so the hands rest on the mat and the palms face up. And again, just a couple rocking motions. Maybe pull your fingertips in like a fist and let them go. Flip the hands back over. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. First downward facing dog. Your arms are long and straight, pulling your chest back towards the tops of your thighs, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Draw the belly in and up, active through the core, and your gaze is back between your knees. Come high onto your toes, look forward, step or float to the top of the mat, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold all the way. Tadasana, arms reach up and overhead, gaze fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Lengthen halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana, Upward Facing Dog, pull the heart through, Downward Facing Dog, melt the heels down and breathe. Give yourself a couple breaths in this down dog to settle in. Again, inhale high on the toes, look forward, step or float, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Tadasana, rise, arms stretch up overhead, gaze, thumbs. Exhale, fold back down. Lengthen halfway. Chaturanga, step or float back. Upward facing dog, lift the heart. Downward facing dog, melt the heels and breathe. Bringing a little more strength into the legs, lift the right leg to three point. Start to circle the ankle in one direction and then circle in the other direction. Take a bend in your right knee, pull your chest back towards your left knee, equal pressure in both palms. Straighten your right leg, draw knee to forehead for cheetah, back to three point. Cheetah, knee to forehead, lift back up. Last time, cheetah, knee to forehead, three point extend, chaturanga, shift forward and lower. Upward facing dog, inhale, Downward facing dog, exhale, melt the heels. Left leg lifts up to three point. Left leg lifts for three point. Take a bend in the knee, stack and stretch. Pull the left corner of your chest back towards your right knee, melt your right heel into the mat. Cheetah, knee to forehead, three point. Cheetah, inhale three point, exhale cheetah, inhale three point, chaturanga, lower. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale and hold here, breathe here. Long straight arms, active core, strong legs. Walk your hands back to meet your feet at the back of your mat and grab opposite elbows hanging in ragdoll. The crown of your head hangs down towards the floor, maybe shaking the head yes and no or swaying the body side to side. Release your binds, heel toe your feet together to touch, bend your knees, lift your arms for chair posture. Weight is back into your heels, draw belly in, lift heart up and gaze up. Exhale, fold forward. Walk back out to high plank, lower through chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. 
Lunge your right leg forward for warrior one, arms rise. Really strong through your back leg, hands down, step back, chaturanga, lower. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left leg, warrior one, inhale, rise and reach up. Palm the mat, hands down, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg again, warrior two, open, extend, shoulders over hips, cartwheel hands down, chaturanga lower, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, left leg, warrior two, deep bend in your left knee, shoulders stacking over hips, palm the mat, lower down, chaturanga, elbows in close, upward facing dog, inhale, Downward facing, last one, right leg. Peaceful warrior, big step forward. Left hand reaches behind you. Big stretch open through the right side body. Lower the hands down, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg, last time, peaceful. Reach the right arm behind you. Big stretch through the left side body. Palm your mat, step back and lower through, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, breathe and reset in this down dog, holding for three breaths. Finishing up your last breath in this down dog. Inhale high on your toes, look forward, step or float, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, bend your knees, lift your arms, look katasana. Interlace your hands together behind your head. Point your elbows up. Hug them in. Try to reach your heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet, hips distance apart. Your peace sign fingers pick up your big toes. Lengthen belly in and fold head down and breathe. Bend your knees as much as you need to grab a hold of the toes. And then lift up through your hips, trying to stack them over your ankles as you pull your chest towards your thighs. Release these binds, lengthen, inhale, step or float, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward to peaceful warrior. Reach your left hand back, open through your right hip crease. Side angle, modified, right forearm to thigh, left fingertips reach overhead. Side plank, your left hand drops down, your right side stacks on top. Press strong out of your left palm and lift your hips. Come to high plank, lower chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, peaceful warrior. Right hand comes back, left side opens. Side angle modified, left forearm to thigh, right fingertips overhead. Side plank, right hand drops down, left side stacks on top, pressing out of the right palm directly under the right shoulder. Chaturanga, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg, peaceful warrior, open, extend, breathe. Side angle modified, reach and extend. Back to Peaceful Warrior, inhale, side angle modified, exhale. Side plank, left hand drops down, right side stacks, press and lift the hips, maybe lift a leg. Chaturanga, high to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left leg, Peaceful Warrior. Right hand reaches back, left side opens up. Side angle modified, forearm to thigh, big stretch through the right side body. Back to peaceful, use your obliques to make this transition. Modified side angle again, forearm to thigh, fingertips extend. Side plank, drop the right arm down, float the left side, maybe leg lifts up, hold three, two, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, last round, right leg. Peaceful warrior, step forward, open, extend. This time we'll flow three times. Modified side angle, forearm to thigh, fingertips overhead. Back to peaceful, wake up your side body. Modified side angle, forearm to thigh. Peaceful warrior, last one, biggest stretch. 
modified or full side angle. Maybe right hand comes all the way down inside or outside of the thigh. And then side plank last time. Left hand is down. Maybe right foot places into tree posture. Chaturanga, high to low. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing exhale. Last time on the left side, peaceful warrior. We're going to flow three times. So on your inhale, open. On your exhale, modified side. Inhale, big stretch back to peaceful. Stay low in the left leg. Modified side angle, exhale, forearm to thigh. Last time to peaceful, biggest stretch yet. Modified or full side angle, maybe left hand all the way down to the mat. Gaze follows right fingertips. Side plank, right hand is down, left side stacks, maybe left foot is in tree posture, lifting the hips for three. Even higher for two, chaturanga, lower. Upward facing dog, inhale, stretch heart forward. Downward facing dog, reset, that set of work is done. Awesome job, guys, breathe here. Walk your hands back to meet your feet again at the back of your mat. Lengthen, fold, exhale. Chair pose, feet together to touch, bend the knees, lift the arms up. Chair twist, right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Settle the weight back into the heels. Sink your hips lower than your head and open through your chest. Inhale back up to chair pose, twist opposite direction, left elbow outside of the right thigh. Press your palms together at the center of your chest, open up through your chest, sink more weight into your heels, but lower. Inhale back up to chair pose, we're going to work balance, come high onto your toes, balancing on the balls of your feet, squeeze your heels together, squeeze your knees together, lift your chest, sink your hips, lift your chest. Rise all the way to stand. Interlace hands together behind your back. And on your exhale, split your feet hips distance and take a forward fold with a shoulder bind. Best effort to squeeze palms together to touch. Maybe shake the head, yes and no. Soften your face, soften your neck. Release your binds and walk out to high plank. And we're going to take five chaturanga push-ups, knees or toes. Here's one. Be strong. Two. Three more. Last two. Last one, downward facing dog. In your down dog, lunge your right leg forward, coming into low lunge. Bring your hands to the top of your right thigh, guiding your right knee forward to open your left hip flexor. Then lift both of your arms overhead, reach through your fingertips, and float your right hand down for a side body stretch right by your right hip. Then switch sides, float the left hand down, reach through the right side of the body, maybe gaze under the right arm. Straighten the front leg for half splits, fold into your right shin, pulling your toes back towards the top of your head. Shift weight forward, coming into warrior three with balance, hands come to heart center, press really strong through your back left leg, all five of the left toes point to the floor. Lunge back three point, take a bend in your right knee, stack the hips. Stay here or flip your dog. If you're flipping, both heels down on the mat, hips distance apart, lift up through your hips, let the head fall back. Unflip, straighten the right leg, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg to low lunge, hands to the top of the left thigh. Lifting up through your chest, squeezing through your right glute. Keep this same engagement. Lift both arms up overhead and side body stretch. It's okay if your left fingertips don't touch the floor. So you float the left hand down, reach through the right side, maybe look under the right arm. And then switch sides. Lower the right hand down. Take a big stretch through the left side of the body. Straighten the left leg, drop into half splits, pulling the left hip back in line with the right, lengthen and fold into it. Shift weight forward, finding balanced warrior three on the left side, long line from head to heel, pressing really strong through your back right heel. 
lunge back, three point, take a bend in the left knee, stay here, or option for flip dog again. Pressing through the heels, lifting up through the hips, let the head fall back. Unflip, lift back to three point, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, breathe. Lunge your right leg forward for crescent lunge, high on the back toes, left knee lifted off the mat, arms reach for the sky. Revolve side angle, twist, left hand down, right hand reaches up. Standing splits, fold into your right shin, squeeze your lifted left leg. Lunge back to three point, draw the right knee in and drop down for modified side plank, reach the left hand up and over the head. Option, hover with the left foot up or bend the left knee, reaching back for a half bow. Opening your chest, kicking hand and foot together. Gently release these binds and step back to downward facing dog. Left leg comes to crescent lunge this time. Big step forward, inhale, rise up strong. Revolve side angle, twist. Try to twist out of your upper back and not your hip. Standing splits, fold into your left shin, squeeze your lifted right leg. Lunge back to three point. Left knee pulls in for modified side plank, reach the right arm up and overhead, bicep by ear. Maybe right leg floats up, maybe bending the knee and taking that bind again, hand and foot kick together. Holding three, two. Binds release, gently step back, downward facing dog. Same thing, right leg to crescent lunge. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, twist, left hand down, gaze right fingertips. Standing splits, fold into the right shin, squeeze the left leg. Lunge back to three point, revolved side plank, right foot to the top left corner of your mat, hips up, head falls back, big opening. Downward facing dog. Left leg to crescent lunge, inhale, arms rise, strong legs. Revolve side angle twist, right hand down, gaze left fingertips. Standing splits, fire through your right, right quad, squeeze your right leg. Lunge back to three point, thread it through, revolve side plank, left foot to the top right corner of the mat, hips up, head back. Downward facing dog, last round, right leg, crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. This time, maybe right hand to the back of the left thigh, lifting your gaze up to your left thumb, or maybe the back wall. Shift forward to standing splits, lifting up through your left toes. Maybe a couple hops towards handstand. Lunge back for three point, right knee to right tricep, mountain climber prep or mountain climber. Hold for three, two, Downward facing dog. Left leg steps forward for crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Maybe the left hand to the back of the right thigh. Gaze up to the right thumb. Lift through your chest. Standing splits. Fold into your left shin. Lunge back to three point. Mountain climber prep. Left knee to left tricep. Maybe mountain climber. Downward facing dog. Great job. That was a lot. Shift out to high plank. Lower, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale and breathe. Lunge your right leg forward. Take a quarter turn for a wide leg forward fold. Lengthen, head drops down. Point all 10 of your toes straight ahead or slightly in. And then you can hold in this wide leg forward fold or if you'd like to play with a headstand, you can bring the head down to the mat for a tripod headstand, squeezing elbows in, starting to float up. Otherwise, you're just holding that forward fold and breathing and slowing down your heart rate after all the flow we just did. If you're inverted, retrace your steps and slowly come down with grace. Halfway lift on your inhale. Take a side lunge, deep bend in your left knee. Turn your right toes up towards the ceiling. Try to work your left heel flat to the mat. And then switch sides, deep bend in your right knee, turn your left toes up towards the ceiling. Forward step back to downward facing dog, reset here and breathe. Working some core work, shift out to high plank, float your right heel up and start to pulse through the right for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, switch sides, pulse left for seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop down to the forearms, hold forearm plank, Gaze is between the arms. Do not drop your head down. Draw your low ribs to your hip bones. Squeeze everything. Legs are on. Holding, breathing, really strong. And then drop down to your knees and find child's pose. Awesome job, everybody. That was a lot of movement in our warm-up flow. Coming out of your child's pose, you're going to come up to all fours and then onto the knee, setting up for camel. So some back bending here. Tuck your toes, place your hands to the small of your low back with fingertips pointing up towards your shoulder blades. Hug your elbows in, lift your heart up, keeping your hips stacked over your knees. Feel the shoulders draw together and down the spine. And then slowly come out of this, sit back onto the heels, place the hands on the tops of the knees. Take a deep breath in. Open and exhale it out. Second time in camel, toes tucked. This time maybe the left hand reaches back and the right arm reaches up by the ear. Keeping your hips stacked over your knees, taking a big stretch open here. And then sit back onto the heels again, hands on top of the knees. Deep breathing. One more camel here. You can stick with either of the variations that we just did or reach both hands back for the heels. Keeping your hips stacked over your knees, let your head fall back. Lift through the center of your chest and breathe fully and deeply for five, four, three, Two, slowly come out of it, sit back onto your heels. Come to all fours, cross your ankles, sit back onto your bottom, extend both legs out in front of you, finding a seated forward fold, counterposing our back bends. Lengthen and drop down into it. So just make this an easy forward fold, bringing space into the spine, opening up your hips, your low back, and your hamstrings. Soften where you can and slowly start to roll out of this. Coming up and working into pigeon on the right side, bring your right shin forward and your left leg back behind you. Most important thing here is to keep the hips square. You're resting fully on the top of the left quadricep. And you should be able to see your right knee on the outside of your right side body, so not laying directly on top of your knee. Do your best to relax and let go here. Slowing the body down, breathing deeper. Begin to come out of your pigeon pose, walk it up, finding a seated twist, cross your left foot over your right knee, and then bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Press really strong into your palm, lift your chest up, open and breathe. Switch sides, coming into pigeon on your left, so set yourself up with square hips, resting on the top of your right quadricep. Remember, you should be able to see your left knee to the outside of your left side body, not directly on top of it. And then just do your best to breathe and let yourself relax here. Matching the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales, deep, steady breathing. Slowly start to come out of this for seated twist. Bring your right knee up and over, crossing it to the outside of the left knee. Left arm to the outside of the right thigh. Sit up really tall, rooting down into your palm, lifting through your chest. 
and then come out of this, finding Baddha Konasana, bring the feet together to touch, peel the soles of the feet apart, lengthen and fold. So you're like in that butterfly position. Try to extend your spine, reaching your chest forward, roll your hips back. You can press your elbows down into your legs if that helps you open a little deeper. Last couple of breaths here. Begin to roll out of it. Start to lay back onto your back, finding a final inversion. Happy baby. Half shoulder stand, full shoulder stand if that's in your practice. If you're in happy baby, grab the outside blades of your feet and pull your knees down. Try to draw your tailbone down towards the floor. Soften the face, relax the body. Steady the breath. Taking a supine spinal twist, draw the right knee into the chest and take it over to the left side of your mat. Maybe gaze falls over your right shoulder. Bring the right knee back in, give it a squeeze and extend it out long. Switch sides, draw the left knee into the chest. Take it over to the right for a supine spinal twist, maybe gaze over the left shoulder. Roll it back to center, draw the left knee in, give it a squeeze, and extend it out long. And now it's time for the best part of your practice, your Shavasana. Extend your legs out long, allow your feet to fall open and your palms to face up towards the ceiling. Take a really deep breath, inhale. Open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. One more time, take a deep breath, inhale, 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 inhale. Anything you need to let go of, exhale, breathe out, and then rest. You are done with your practice. Stay here for as long as you would like. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.